So we want to convert the number, uh, 6234 base 7 to a base 10 number. Here the subscript is used, being used to represent the base of the number. So before we start this, let's talk a little bit about what base means. So when we're, when we see a number like 325, we usually read this as 325, right? So this is saying we've got five ones. This is saying I have 20, and this number is saying I have 300. And if I combine these all together, I get 325. So the idea in our positional place value system is that this second number represents the number of tens. And this is why this is called a base 10 system, because we can represent single numbers up through 9, so 0 to 9, and then when we get to 10, instead of coming up with some new symbol like, you know, smiley face to represent 10, uh, we simply move over a space and say, I have 1 10 and 0 1's. So this 1 here is representing 1 10, because we have 10 of these things. Now, we're used to this just because this is what we've always done, but this is not the only way to count. So another way to count would be to say, let's count 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now instead of writing a new symbol for 7, we're going to represent 1 and 0. But this is not the number 10. We have to be careful here. This is 1, 0, where in this case, we're, we are in what's called base 7. So instead of this representing 1, 10, this is representing 1, 7. So we have 1, 7 and 0, 1's, and so this number represents the number 7. Likewise, just like, remember, in our base 10 system, this number, the th sorry, like the 3 here represented 300. Now, where did that 100 come from? Well, this was 10 ones. This would be 10 tens, right? 10 times 10 is 10 squared is 100. And so our second place value represents 10 squareds. Our third place value would represent 10 cubes, or in other words, 4,000, because 10 cubed is 1,000. So in the base 7 system, if we saw the number 1, 0, 0, this is representing 1's, this is representing 7's, and this is representing 7 squareds, or in other words, 49. And so this number would correspond, sorry, this number, base 7, corresponds with the number 49 in our usual base 10 system. Okay, so now that we've got the idea down, can we convert this number from base 7 to base 10? So the idea is, remember, this number is representing 1's, this number is representing 7's, this number is representing 7 squareds, and this number is representing the number of 7 cubes. In other words, I've got 6 of these 7 cubes. That's 6 times 343 is 2058 in our base 10 system. I've got 2 of these 7 squareds. That's 2 times 49 is 98. I've got 3 of these 7's. That's 21. And I've got 4 of these 1's, which is 4. Add those all up, and we get 2081 base 10. So this number here, 6234 base 7, is equivalent to the number 2181 in base 10.